Hey all, I just wanted to post a video update to the earlier topic of the dead pitch zones on the Technics 1200 Mark 7 turntables. We confirmed that the range of the pitch from plus 7, plus 8, as well as negative 7, negative 8 was inactive. Although you could reach 8% and negative 8% pitch adjustment, but you would reach that when the slider would be at 7. So that wouldn't actually give you 7% uh, pitch adjustment it would be plus eight and it would kind of ramp down back to plus six percent right there now that was from an earlier batch of turntables that came out this one I picked up uh, about two or three weeks ago from a brand new batch over at Astro AVL in LA and um, this one they did fix it so this video is to prove that they did fix it and it's working as we all expected I have Serato DJ connected uh, which is convenient because it shows the pitch as you can see 0% now if I go over here and I change to plus 2% then we do see plus 2% here in Serato DJ and if I move it over to plus 4 here on the pitch then we do see plus four percent here in Serato DJ and going over to plus six percent here it's showing plus six and a half which interestingly I have it just about perfectly on the six right there so I would have expected to see plus six percent there but it's showing six and a half so it's kind of interesting right now. I'm gonna move it to seven. Right there, and I'm gonna to try to get it as centered as possible. And here we have, that's more or less seven. Okay, so that is seven. And then uh, all the way to the right for plus eight. And that's basically plus eight. So that's working properly now. Just for peace of mind, um, on the bottom end, moving it all the way to negative 8%, um, we do see here negative 8%. And here we go, that's at negative 7%, negative 7%, and negative 6% right about there. Let's see if it shows actually negative 6% or if it's going to say like negative 6.5 like it did on the other side. Okay, this is actually showing negative 6%. And just for the sake of maybe it was user error or something, I'm going to go over back to the right and try to get it to plus 6%. I believe that's as close as I'm going to get it. And we can see, yeah, plus 6%. 0.5%. So I guess that is where there's a bit of discrepancy, but you do get that full range of motion now. You do get negative uh, 8 at the negative 8 marker, plus 8 at the plus 8 marker. Um, that little bit there with the 6% uh, versus 6.5% on the positive side, you know, in practice, will that really matter? Probably not. But uh, yeah, so I hope this was informative for you. Um, in the next video, I'm going to make I'm going to compare these to the Mark II turntables and it's to address another rumor about the digital pitch uh, adjustment versus analog. The idea is that analog is going to allow you more accuracy in beat matching versus digital because the, let's see, how should I explain it? The resolution of the, the adjustment range is more fine with analog versus digital, um, whereas digital is going to have larger steps analog will give you the ability to beat match better. Um, so that's in the next video if you thought this was helpful for you. And if you want to see the next video, uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching this one, and uh, I'll see you next time.